Welcome back gamers. As a 35 year old dad with 10,000 hours experience in FPS games, I had to try out this game that's taking the internet by storm. Basic graphics like Roblox, but more fun than Battlefield 2042. Pfft, I just had to try it out. Battlebit, a game that ingeniously merges the best elements from Battlefield, Squad and Roblox has taken the gaming world by storm. Priced at a mere $15 on Steam and developed by a small yet passionate team of three, it has proven that there's still a high demand for classic style games. The key is in the execution. If they're done right, the audience is there. As a dad gamer, I can tell you that finding a game that's both affordable and well made is like finding a quiet moment when the kids are home. Rare, but Oh, so satisfying. What's truly remarkable about Battlebit's success is that it's not particularly innovative in the traditional sense. Typically, indie games that gain this level of popularity do so by introducing something new and unique, creating demand for a genre or style that didn't exist before. However, Battlebit has demonstrated that major studios have lost touch with how to create a good Battlefield-like game. It's like when your kid outsmarts you with a simple yet effective argument you didn't see it coming, but you can't help but be impressed. Recent Battlefield titles have failed to hit the mark in fundamental ways, seemingly not understanding their own franchise or player base. Battlebit has incorporated features that Battlefield players have long requested, such as a detailed scoreboard, server browser, map voting, time of day options, meaningful squad play, classic specific weapons, and a robust VoIP system and a detailed weapon stat system to boot. While Battlebit is being judged as a $15 indie title, which allows for some rough edges, it's also an early access game. So the developers are actively updating balancing and redefining the game, so many of these early access issues will hopefully be resolved over time. It's the game's longevity that is an important question though. Its low price and easy access have helped establish a large player base. However, the game's player count has already peaked at 86,000 players and is now slowly declining. After the shine of playing the game that has incorporated all of what we feel Battlefield is missing, the holes definitely seem to shine through. Personally for me, my biggest annoyance was the difficulty seeing other players. With having characters that are the same shape, lines of walls and windows, and with all the bleak colorations including most characters both your side and the other side it just felt like an impossible task of working out who to shoot or just where on earth you just died from but with future updates that significantly improve the game or add new features it could potentially drive it to new highs in conclusion battle bit success should serve as a wake-up call for studios like dice they need to understand why this game is doing so well and recognize the core mechanics at play. Gamers want a solid core experience first and foremost, and that's what Battlebit offers. Despite the basic graphics, Battlebit continues to draw players in because it's undeniably fun. It's a reminder to reconsider the Battlefield franchise from the ground up, and hopefully DICE is doing just that. It's a thrilling time in the gaming world, and as a dad gamer, I'm excited to be part of it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed my video, think about subscribing and helping support me through to 1,000 subscribers so I can look to become monetized. I post regularly all around first-person shooters and gaming tech to help you get the best out of your gaming time. See you soon, champs.